God is hiding you right now for a reason. There are too many reasons. God is hiding some of you right now for too many reasons. They saw you. You told some people about yourself. <laughs> and they even saw some things about you. And they were like, you? Are you sure? Who do you think you are? Like you told some people about your plans, about your projects, or they saw you executing projects and ever they tried to stop your project. They underestimated you and they said, if some people haven't done, haven't executed such a project, why are you? You told some things about them. They in, in, in their heart. They said if some people haven't become, haven't been this. And then you. You know, like just like when Han Joseph told his brother his dreams, beloved, they, they, they went after him, sold him out, they, because of jealousy and everything. That's exactly what happened. Some of you have, ha have had businesses that you try to establish, projects that you try to, you try to, you try to execute. People have, people, people have seen you rising and they, they, are, they became so mad and they came after you. They came after you. And then God is this season to hide you. God is hiding you this season for a reason for all so, for too many reasons. Even when Christ Himself told the, 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 the people in the, the temple who He was, they like they, they, they got so mad and began to stone Him, and He had to hide Himself. It's just in your life, you know, uh, popped up that you need to to hide yourself for a while. And the Lord said that you were on point. You, 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 you had every reason to go away, to hide yourself for a while. Because jealous and voluntary spirits were really after you. They wanted to make, to make sure that nothing that you were trying to do succeed. They were trying to make sure that, that, that they ruin all the plans that you had. They were constantly monitoring your thoughts. They were watching your actions. They were um, um, trying to connect themselves with those you associate yourself with, so they would, they would shut them or cause them to turn against you. And God needed to hide somebody. If you are not out and about this moment, if you feel like something's something I don't write, I don't. You just taking, taking, taking you a long time. You are, you are very much on point, beloved. Okay. If you refuse to associate your citizen, you are on point. There are jealous and monitoring spirits out there that have been working so bad against your life. And they say to themselves, you, so you think of all people in this city, you want to, you want to, you want to, you want to be this, you want to be that. Like they've been underestimating what, you, what God can use you to do. They have been trying to come against what you've been doing behind your back. Even though they are going to appreciate you physically, but behind your back, they are sabotaging everything. You have a business site. They are all like, they're applauding you, appreciating you, and encouraging you in your face. But behind your back, they are sabotaging it. They are constantly doing witchcraft to stop that project, to stop that business. Oh my God. They had plans to kick you out of your building, to kick you out of your environment, to kick you out of the city, but you had no idea. You, you were like, you, 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 like, things haven't been working, and you'll be asking yourself, why? Beloved, it is because they saw. They have seen your potentials. They have seen where you are coming from. They have seen where you are headed. They know that you're the only one that could actually, you know, execute a certain project in a city, in a town, in, 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 in a neighborhood. They'll see that you've been called to carry out a certain activity, a certain assignment. And the enemies, have, they, 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 they'll be so worried and they couldn't take it. And they'll be coming after that. To some of you, some things in your life have, in your life have actually stopped and you don't even understand why. God is hiding you for a purpose. God needed you to take some time away for him to walk in, to fortify you, to strengthen you. So when you are going back, 
You're not going back the same. You're going back with fire. You're going back with strength. You are going back with greater motivation, beloved. And as you are going back, be careful those you 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 you, you talk to. Those you allow in your space. Because of being the one sabotaging everything, it was bad. It was really that bad. John 9 was, John 8 was 20, uh, 57 to 59. Then Jesus said to him, You are not yet 50, or let's take it, okay. You are not yet fi um, old. You are not yet, you are not 50 years old. And have you seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, Most assuredly, I say to you, before Abraham was, I am. Oh my God, this is called a really so mad. Mm. You told him who you are, and they're like, you who do you i mean how how dare you say you are this how dare you say you are a child of god how dare you say you are an entrepreneur how dare you say you are an artist how dare you say you are an actor how dare you say you are a preacher of the gospel how dare you say you are a ceo how they, they're like they're looking at you they're, they're underestimating you so that you can't be that oh my god but you know <laughs> before you were born god knew your mother's womb and predestined you You've been predestined to be who you are, this to be what he has got to be. His plans in your life have always been the plans of good, plans to prosper. You are given an expected end. You must arrive at your expected end this year in the name of Jesus, no matter how hard they try to stop you. You must surely arrive at your expected end this year. Verse. 59, then they took up stones to throw at him. But Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple, going through the midst of them, and so passed by. Some of you have left set a city, a nation, a neighborhood, because they were really coming at you with witchcraft and all kinds of things. It was divine. It was timing. It was time for you to leave. That you hide yourself and build yourself again. Some of you they injured you, you need some healing. Some of you they wound your heart. You need that healing. Oh my god. Some of you they some of you they really broke you. That you that is you you your your energy was zero. You were vibrating at zero. So God needs to build up back your energy and build up back your mindset, restoring the damaged mindset. Your mindset was damaged and you couldn't think positive about yourself. You saw yourself feeling, but right now God is giving you a mindset of success. Hallelujah. You saw yourself like they projected in your dream to give to to to, to show how vulnerable you were or how uh, uh, of, uh, how you were feeling, but God is coming towards you right now with better dreams, with good dreams of success, of of progress, of health. You're coming back, you are becoming back more positive than ever before. In the name of Jesus. Even Christ himself, Christ himself hid himself because they were coming at him with stones because he told them his, the truth of who he was. They couldn't believe him. And they went about to, to they wanted to kill him because of the truth that he said about himself. He has wanted to, to destroy you because of the truth that you said about yourself. Because of what they saw you doing. Because of you. Oh God, listen. Oh Jesus. Oh glory be to God. Some of you, they betrayed you. They sold you out. Like how Joseph would have sold him out. But you know what? They're going to be coming to you in the future. Seeking for help. Believe me. This is God's word for your life. They will be coming towards you in the future to seek for your help when they go and get tough on them. Oh my God. You are a special being. And no one can stop God's purpose for your life. No one can stop God's plans for your life. Delay is no denial. What God has destined for your life cannot be denied. Even if you, they, 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 even if they drove you and sent you into a pit, even in that pit, you shall execute that purpose. Even in that pit, you shall execute that purpose. They thought that they have, they have, they have driven you, they, you've gone. And you know, listen, some of you were a little sensitive, but you felt as to 
to move. You felt asked to move. You didn't know where you were actually headed towards. You didn't have anything, you didn't have the resources and nothing. But God is saying to this moment that your move, your movement was of God. Or if you are still to move, due to what I'm explaining to you right now, because of the attacks, the persecutions, and everything, people come at you. Listen, they, 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 they could not come at you for nothing. They came at you because they saw what you possess, they saw what you were all about, they saw, they saw you, you told them about your glance. Oh my God, Jesus. Ah. Oh, at the end of the day, you were secured. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, you were protected because God has decided to hide you. God is hiding you this moment. Hallelujah. Some of you are going through fasting. Some of, um, some of you are fasting. Some of you are, uh, you know, are in solitude this moment and just healing and everything. The Lord your God is with you. Hallelujah. Yes. Even Christ himself took up some time to go in the wilderness and pray and everything. Even though even, even still now wilderness he was still being tempted. Oh my God, they had to follow. They had to follow him there to tempt him. But you know what? The devil shall get behind you. That devil shall get behind you. That devil shall get behind you. Because God is giving you a new life. A new direction. A new destination. A, everything new. Hallelujah. God bless you. I have been a lady. Faith is our vehicle and love is our strength. God is hiding you for a reason. Ah, your purpose is coming to manifest. Ah, your purpose is coming to manifest. Your dreams are being realized. Hallelujah. Even that peace that is sent you to. Oh my God. Listen. If Joseph had not come. Oh my God. If you had not faced all of those challenges and was sent to prison and whatever, he wouldn't have become that governor. He would have become that 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 somebody that was holding space for everybody, even even for his family that actually gave sold him out the way. So who can you? As situations in your life are not just coming from outside, they're coming from within. But the Lord your God is faithful. He is faithful. You're that king. You're that queen. You're that great official. Ah, you're that resourceful person. Hmm. And they know. I shall come to know. I shall see God in display. At the end of it all. And they shall bow. They shall bow. In Jesus' mighty name. Faith is our vehicle. And love is our strength. See you in the next. In the next. In the next. And in the next.